So by using this device in combination with the supplied app, you now have a tire pressure monitoring system that can be used and controlled by the Android Auto system in your car. This is a cool little device, and it's also a very affordable one as well, which can work with both factory installed and aftermarket Android Auto systems, just like this one. As you can see, I'm now able to monitor the pressure levels and temperatures from all four of my tires, and I don't need an external monitor or display to do it either. Everything is now displayed and controlled directly from the Android Auto system in my car. This is seriously, without any doubt, really cool tech. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like car technology content, then hit that subscribe button because that's what you're going to see on this channel. Okay, so today I'm reviewing another really cool car tech device for your car. And this time it's another tire pressure monitoring system. However, what makes this one so cool is the fact that it works with your car's Android Auto system, which is a really great idea because it means all you need to do is open up an app on your Android Auto to view the status of all four tires. And from the testing I have been doing with it for the last couple of weeks, I have to say that it does work really well. Okay, so everything that you see here is what you get with the kit when you buy it. So we have the four wireless external tire pressure sensors, which you easily just screw onto your tire valves, and which are all conveniently labeled as well. The tire pressure sensors power up off replaceable CR1632 3 volt batteries, and no, these sensors do not communicate with this here, which is the receiver, over a Bluetooth connection. Instead, they just communicate using RF, and at a frequency of 433 megahertz. They are able to measure tire pressures between 0 to 8 bar, and other pressure units such as PSI and KPA are also supported with the app as well. They are not only designed to monitor your tire pressures, but the temperature as well, and can measure any temperature in the range of negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit temperatures are also supported with the app as well, and of course, as you would expect, they are also waterproof and have a rating of IP67. Now, internal tire pressure sensors are also available as well, if you prefer them to the external sensors. However, do remember that the sensors are battery powered, so that will be one disadvantage to using internal sensors, as it won't be as easy to change the batteries when you need to. From my experience with aftermarket TPMS sensors, systems, and the external sensors, the batteries do last a very long time though. In fact, these sensors are said to operate on any voltage between 2.1 to 3.6 volts. So I would assume you could expect a very good and long life performance from these sensors. The kit also comes supplied with these locking nuts as well, and this tool to secure the tire pressure sensors to the valves. I personally never use these as it can make it very difficult to remove the sensors again from the valves. And to be honest, I have never had a sensor even come close to becoming loose or falling off the tire whatsoever. Now, as for the tire pressure monitor receiver, it is incredibly easy to connect to your Android Auto system as it simply just plugs into the USB port on the back of your Android head unit. And as already mentioned, it communicates with the sensors over RF and at the frequency of 433 MHz. Okay, so the first step to setting up this TPMS system is to install the app onto the Android Auto unit itself. And that is what this USB flash drive is for. It contains the tire pressure monitoring system app, which is supplied in the APK file format for Android on this flash drive. And unfortunately, no, this TPMS system will not work on iOS, so I'm sorry to disappoint all the CarPlay users. This is strictly for Android users only. Installing the app on your Android Auto is really easy to do. You just need to plug the USB flash drive into your Android Auto. So I'll do that now. Like that. Then you need to go into the files directory. Go into the flash drive and then just simply tap on the app to install it. I have already installed the app, so I don't need to do this again. And obviously the installation procedure will be slightly different for all the different types of systems as well. But the principle is the same. 
The, this TPMS system will work on both factory installed and aftermarket Android Auto systems. However, it may not be compatible with all Android Auto systems. So do keep this in mind. This will be a small minority though. It's definitely compatible with mine. And this is also an aftermarket Android Auto system. Which by the way, as mentioned in my last review, is also new to the channel as well. So if you follow this channel closely, and you're curious about what this actually is, I'll quickly explain that for you right now. Okay, so as a car tech reviewer, it's really important for me to have a system installed in my car that I can use to test and review all of the products that you see on this channel. And I could not do that with my old head unit as it was just a basic car stereo. So I needed to upgrade and decided to install this one instead. The installation wasn't exactly straightforward because, to be honest, this system is actually designed for a BMW, not an Alfa Romeo at all. But I found a way around all of those problems and this is now the result. An aftermarket Android Auto system with two video inputs and two USB inputs as well, including GPS, Wi-Fi and everything else I need. Now allowing me to test basically anything. However, this is also a 360 degrees camera parking system as well, which I have been slowly working on installing, but there's quite a bit more work involved in that installation yet. So that is something you will be seeing on this channel in the future. I have had a few of you ask me about that already actually, and yes I did mention a while ago I was going to do a 360 camera parking system video on this channel. Of course it's a Kartec channel so you would expect that. And as you can now see I still am, but it takes a while to install it. So for all of you wanting to see that video, don't worry it is still coming to the channel, I'm just trying to try and find the time to install all the cameras for the system. Anyway now that I have explained what this is for, for the channel's close followers, let's get back to today's review. So now that I have the app installed and the tire pressure sensors fitted to my tires, which only took a few seconds because you just screw them onto the tire valves, all I need to do now is plug the receiver into the USB port of my Android Auto system, which I have also just done as well. It's just sitting down here now. And it's plugged into this USB cable which connects to the back of my Android Auto. Or well, now it's time to demonstrate how this TPMS system works. So let's start by opening up the app. So we're going to apps, find the app which is called TPMS. So we tap on that and then we wait for a few seconds and then you will see the tire pressures and temperature readings displayed on the screen of the Android Auto system. This time delay by the way is normal and is required because it does take time for the receiver to retrieve the data from the sensors to calculate and display the results. So yeah, this is actually pretty cool, right? Not to mention unbelievably convenient, being able to have this information so easily accessible in my car and at any time is definitely a great feature to have in any car, that's for sure. Now this app does not actually have a lot of settings to play with, well this version anyway, but in my opinion it has enough. So first of all up here in the right hand top corner we have a speaker icon which I can tap on like that to turn the audible sound alerts on and off which yes, this app does also support. Now if we go into the settings menu, the first option here at the top, sensor to tire matching, is not needed to be touched as the tire pressure sensors are programmed to the receiver by default from the factory when you buy the kit. You would only need to use this option to program a replacement sensor or reprogram an existing sensor if, for example, the battery had gone flat. So yes, when compared to other TPMS systems, the setup and installation of this one is unbelievably easy, is there is basically nothing to do. The next setting under that, tire rotation mode, is also only used if you were going to be rotating your tires. However, this setting here, sensor battery voltage check, is incredibly useful. And once tapped on, as you can see, it will display the current battery voltage of each tire sensor's battery for you. And as you can see, my batteries are all good. Now if we go back to the settings again, and as you can see here, pressure unit, as I mentioned before, all pressure units are supported, so you've got your PSI, KPA, and bar, and changing the temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit is also supported as well just here. Now spare tire mode, uh, that is uh, set to off by default, but when enabled, as I will show you now, enable that, go back to the screen, as you can see just here, it will now allow you to fit an optional pressure sensor to your spare tire, 
and monitor that as well. And this is such an important and great idea in my opinion, as the spare tyre is often ignored by a lot of people. By default, sound notification alerts are enabled, and this allows you to receive an audible alert in relation to the pressure and temperature of your tyres, which you can set up in the app as well, just here. So as you can see, you are able to set up an alarm to sound when the tyre pressures are too high, too low, and there's also an alarm you can set up for the temperature of the tyres as well. So let's test this sound notification alert feature out. I have set up an alarm, as you can see just here, so if the tyre pressures of any four of my tyres drop below 32 psi, the app will not only give me a visual alert on the display, but also an audible alert as well, which of course will be produced through the sound system of the car. And believe me, it can be very loud, so make sure the volume is set low on your Android Auto system. Okay, so to achieve this, all I'm going to do is just unscrew the right rear tyre sensor. And as you can see, and here, the sound notification alert feature does work great. This is definitely a feature that will bring your attention to any problems detected with your tyres. And the coolest thing about this feature is, you don't need the app to be open in the foreground for it to work either. So if you're listening to your music or using the sat-nav, you will still receive an audible alert if there is a problem. And that's it, that is how this Android Auto controlled tyre pressure monitoring system works. From my experience with using it, the tyre pressures are pretty accurate as well, but it can take a while for the correct results to be calculated and displayed. I inflated all of my four tyres up to 35 psi before shooting this video clip, and as you can see the measurements are all very close to that reading as well. For me personally, the best thing about this product is how it's installed onto your Android Auto system itself. And that's the best place for it as well, in my opinion. You don't need to use another externally mounted display screen or an app on your phone to be able to monitor your tyre pressures anymore, like you have seen in previous tyre pressure monitoring system reviews on this channel. For example, like this Bluetooth controlled tyre pressure monitoring system I have installed on my phone here. I mean, sure, these other aftermarket tyre pressure monitoring systems do also work really great, and they are also really reliable as well. But in my opinion, they are not quite as convenient as a system like this Android Auto tire pressure monitoring system. If you have Android Auto installed in your car, of course. If you don't have Android Auto, then this particular tire pressure monitoring system is another one I could highly recommend. And you will find the review for that on this channel as well. At the moment, as you can see, the tire pressures and temperatures are all displayed as blank values, but that's just because the tire pressure sensors are not in use anymore, as I have just replaced them with the sensors for this Android Auto system. Actually, the features of this tire pressure monitoring system on my phone are pretty much basically the same as the Android Auto tire pressure monitoring system, but I do have to admit, when it comes to the setup and installation, this Android Auto tire pressure monitoring system is definitely the easiest one to set up of them all. So yeah, I personally really like this product, and it's also unbelievably affordable as well. At the time of this review, it's only going to cost you about $20, and that's incredibly good value for money. And it's also a really great feature to have installed to your car as well, and that would be for anyone. Anyway guys, that now brings us to the end of another video, and thank you so much for watching. Now there are actually quite a few different versions of these Android Auto tire pressure monitoring systems available and they all use different apps as well. But as usual, I will put a link in the description area below for anyone to use who is interested in purchasing this particular Android Auto tire pressure monitoring system for themselves. It does work really well from my personal experience, but that is of course only with my Android Auto system as well, which by the way is using Android 13. Anyway guys, if you liked this video or found it helpful, then please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more really cool Kitech videos which I upload every week, and I hope to see you all in the next video.